Hey, good morning. So we've got a special video planned for you today. I'm here with Melanie. Good morning. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm about to go out and catch us some fish. And then I'm going to bring them back here and check out what we're going to do. So this company, Food Saver, all right, you can check them out. Oops, did I just hit you in the uh -huh. face? Not okay, sorry. <laughs> this company, Food Saver, check it out right here. They were nice enough to sponsor this video and give us the Game Saver uh, 2050 Outdoorsman. It's a uh, vacuum sealer. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and I'm going to catch some fish. We're going to bring it home and then Melanie is going to vacuum seal them up for us with this Food Saver Game Saver 2050. So we're super excited about it. Should be a different kind of vid. We're going to check out how this, uh, how this thing works. And so I'm going to go make it happen and then we'll catch you right back here. I got to hurry because these fish only bite for like 30 minutes after daylight and I'm already running late. Like it's already starting to get daylight. So I got to hustle. Get out guys, the dock light right here is still on. I made it in time. I'm going to make a cast in this dock light. Oh, I got him. Fish on. Fish on. Holy crap, dude. Are you kidding me? I got him. Oh my gosh. Dude, this is a good fish, too. This is a good fish. Holy crap. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. Dude, first cast under the dock light right here, and I got a, I got a nice fish. Okay. Dude, I wasn't even, for one, I wasn't even expecting this light to be on. And it is on. And there's fish literally all in it. Check it out, guys. Nice big fat slot red on the very first cast right here. That is so cool. Guys, they're still like really big freaking trout right here. I don't want to get on them. There he is. I got him. I got him. All right. Nice. Nice. Fish on, baby. That's a trout there, I think. He's shaking his head like one. Yeah. That's a trout. Oh, right, yeah. Come here, big boy. Come here, baby. Oh, he came off. Crap. That was a freaking nice trout. Dang it. What? A couple more casts, and I'm going to move it on here. I haven't been hit in a minute. All right, dudes, I'm going to move, and I'm going to try to get to my original spot. But that was a great start. All right, so I'm going to call my shot here, guys. And I'm going to say that I'm going to catch a fish on the very first cast. Let's see what happens. Come on, first cast, I gotta catch one. I called my shot and everything. Ooh, big blow up over there, guys, big blow up. Okay, didn't call my shot. Oh well, that sucks. I know you're in there somewhere. There he is. There he is. <laughs> that, that was a little bitty guy. He's a little bitty guy. Come here. Trout, though. Smoked it. Hey, chill out, dude. That's two casts in here and two fish. Three. Oh, <laughs> they're biting right there, guys. <laughs> three casts and three bites. It's a little guy again. Where are the big ones? Little dude. All right, let's see if we can get us a, a good one in here. And that is it. There's another little dink. Uh, he is a little bit bigger. It's still not what we're looking for. Catch and release, thank goodness. All right, I had to move spots just to see if I could get on a better bite. Um, there was a lot of little ones at that other spot. Got him, got him, fish on boys. Fish on. Oh yeah, there's a keeper. Finally a keeper trout. All right, nice. Go put him in the cooler. Oh, dude, they're blowing up behind me. They're blowing up behind me. That's good to know.
Oh, another one. Got it. Another one. Another one. Another one. Nice one. Nice one. Oh, look, it's a mangrove snapper. Look at this. A big, nice mangrove snapper. That's a keeper, too, guys. That is a nice mangrove. Cool. So it's been a pretty eventful morning out here, but I'm done. Hey, it's 6.45. I've been fishing since 5 a.m. and uh, caught a bunch of different fish. Now we're gonna head back, package these bad boys up in the new food saver. We're gonna let Melanie do that. Look at those nice fillets right there. Now trout is traditionally not a fish that freezes very well. So we're gonna do a test. We're gonna put it in this game saver. We're gonna take it out here in a few weeks and see if we can tell the difference. So I'm pretty excited. So I'm back at the house now. You saw me just catch the fish. I cleaned them up and now I'm gonna do some unboxing. All right, I'm gonna tell us, just check this thing out and see what it looks like. So let's, uh, let's dive in and then we'll bring Melanie out to, uh, vacuum seal our fresh catch so this is interesting all right so there we have all the uh bags that we're going to use to vacuum seal <clears throat> i can't even talk right now vacuum seal our catch it's like more bags and this is the uh actual product right here wow that's pretty sharp looking that's the Game Saver Outdoorsman right here, guys, made by Food Saver. And uh, now we're gonna put this guy to work and see what, uh, see what happens. I'm really excited about the Game Saver because they sent these pre-cut heat and sealed bags, and these bags are actually BPA and phthalate free. So you know it's like that safer type of plastic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my label and I already used a marker and I labeled trout 52419 and I'm just gonna place both of them in here. And the key is that you have to leave enough room at the top for the sealer. So I'll lay them as flat as I can. And then you wanna have at least three inches of space at the top. So you put your game saver in the open position, you lift it up, then you place the bag right on the seal and you want to have a little bit of overlap. Make sure it's completely flat and I'm going to put it in the operate position and then I'm going to push the vac seal button. There we go. We've got you gotta, power. You got to turn the power on we first. Turn the power on first. <laughs> I was like sitting there waiting. Okay. <laughs> so now we do That was quick. Okay, so now it's sealing. We can't open it until it's okay. done. As soon as the light goes off, the seal light, that means that you can open it and it's finished sealing. There it goes. There it goes. So I'm going to go to open. Wow. Did you hear that vacuum? Look at it. It totally, oh, that's perfect. completely vacuum sealed it, meaning it took all the air out. So that is what will protect it from the freezer burn. It's completely sealed. And... You know what I really like about the Food Saver too is it has this extra attachment where it's an accessory port and you can use this and you can actually um, remove the air from your canisters and your baked goods. So it's not just for the freezer, it has multiple uses and you can use it for the refrigerator too. Um, I, I'm ready for the deer. Where, where's the deer and the wild turkey let's let's get this game saver to some good use so i hope you liked melanie's presentation and what i really liked about it is how user friendly it is because that makes people like me who aren't very good at things like that <laughs> more apt to use it. you did great with it <laughs> uh, but uh, it was very very user friendly it took literally 30 seconds and it was completely vacuum sealed so i really really liked it uh, but hey, if you guys enjoyed that video, want to see more, shoot us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. You guys have a great week.